In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how you can take a look at master courses and then, if you choose to, import the contents of that master course into your own course shell. To get started, I log into D2L and then I'm going to click on the link that says register for a course. Next, I need to find the course that I'm looking for. So an easy way to search is use the Control F keys on your keyboard. I'm going to search for S and C 1D and you'll see that there is a master course for grade nine academic science. I'm gonna click on the link. Next, click register. Make sure all the information is correct and then click submit. Finally, I can click finish and I can either use this link to go directly to that course or I can register for another course. For this example, I'm gonna click done. I'm going to check the courses that I have pinned and I see that that science course is not one of them. So I'm going to go down to view all courses. I'm gonna type in S and C and search and I can see there's that master course that I just registered for. I'm going to click on the ellipsis to pin this course to my home page. I can click on this image to access the master course and I can take a look around and see what materials there and if I'm happy with everything I can now import all the components into my own course shell. So let's open up a course shell. I'm going to use this course as an example. To import the master course into this course I click on edit course and then I click on import export copy components. I have to search for that master course and in the search box I'm going to type in SNC to search for the course that I just pinned. There's the master course for grade 9 academic. I'm going to select it and then add selected. I can decide whether or not I want to copy all the components or I can select which components I want to add to my course shell. If you are happy with everything in the master course, you can go ahead and just click on copy all components. If you want to go through and select the different components, click on select components. And now it will show you all the different items that you can choose from from the master course to import to your own course. You're going to use exactly the same process if you want to borrow or copy components from your colleagues courses into your own course shell. All they need to do is add you as a teacher in their course shell. Once that's done, you can search for that course and then import the components that you want to use in your own course shell. Just make sure you don't make any changes to your colleagues course as those changes will be permanent. Once you've imported components into your own shell, you can edit them as you please without any worry of affecting your colleagues work.